Hey, what's up my YouTube friends? Welcome to my review of this knife. The brand here is Ben Key. The blade length is 4.7 inches. The steel is D2 tool steel. Here is a closer look for you. It's got a true full tang, smooth wood handle scales, jimping on a thumb rest there. It is a partial hollow grind, right? It has a tubed lanyard hole. The price on this knife was only $26. It did sell out, but I will include a link below the video for US Amazon in case it comes back into stock. But it was a great deal. Here it is on a piece of a box. It did come sharp. You can use this for utility knife functions, but mainly it's a hunting knife. Here it is cutting up some meat. Yeah, this is what I would recommend it for. Hunting knife, butchering, game in the field, or just camp kitchen, that type of stuff. It cuts very cleanly. This would definitely serve as a butcher knife out in the field. And you know I love me some pork. Here it is on some paracord. Very easy task for it. Here it is on some nylon strap material. And again, it does really well on that. Here it is doing some whittling. I sped this footage up a little bit. So I hope you're all doing well these days. I hope you're enjoying the scenery there. We had some snow, but it melted, and then we had many days of rain, so now we just have a lot of mud all over the place. It's doing well at the whittling, biting into that piece of wood. And there you go, another pointy piece of wood. Here it is putting a notch on this stick, so you can do some bushcrafty type stuff with this. You know, a hunting knife is also just a general outdoor utility knife that you use pretty much for anything. All right, there you go. So there's my notch. Next up, just drawing it down, that piece of wood. So you could carve a pointy stick. You wanna make a tent stake, you wanna make a skewer. So you can roast some frickin' marshmallows or something. I decided to see if I could use it as a striker on my fire steel. Turns out you can. And I actually used the, uh, the jimping there just because it's even sharper made it easier. And I think at that point the fire had already started but I wasn't quite sure. So I just kept going like some sort of bushcraft madman. <laughs> there, you, there you go. Alright, so it's always nice when you can use it as a striker. All right, here's the sheath. It's a leather sheath. It overlaps the handle. And uh, it's pretty much a bare bones sheath, but it's all right. Initial sharpness. All right, so this was when I first got the knife, the old paper test, listen. Right out of the box, no complaints, a uh, high level of sharpness. Final thoughts on this knife. Well, I feel like I got a screaming good deal. I mean, $26, it is amazing what you can get nowadays. Uh, you really don't have to, uh, you really don't have to break the bank if you just need like a outdoor camp knife, utility knife, hunting knife, something like that. As I said, this knife had already sold out, but they might get them back in stock. You never know, so just check the link and see if it's currently there. But under the video, I'm going to include a lot of useful links, so even if this doesn't come back, there'll be tons of budget knives for you to browse. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like videos like this, where the video maker does different cutting tasks with the knife as he gives you information about it, be sure to subscribe. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.